My name is Srinivas Reddy and I am Product Marketing Manager at MSC Software. Here I am going to discuss the use of packer sales in oil and gas industry and how simulation can be used to improve their designs. Uh, downhole packers seal off the region between casing and production tubing, helping prevent the flow of corrosive fluids upstream and also help minimize the tube movement and thus preventing damage to the well. The design must permit a deformation of the seal while at the same time have adequate extrusion resistance to prevent loss of volume and sealing force. These requirements are mutually exclusive and so an optimum balance is needed to achieve a successful design. Adequate testing is required in order to satisfy these design criteria and to avoid any negative surprises that could delay the well completion. However, physical testing of packers poses several challenges. Replicating realistic field conditions which include uh, loading and environmental conditions like uh, high pressures and temperatures can be hard during physical testing. Even in cases where physical testing can be done, it can be a costly proposition to do a comprehensive analysis due to limited data gathered during these tests. Simulation provides several advantages over physical testing while maintaining the safety of personnel. Uh, through virtual testing, users can simulate real-world conditions and obtain extensive response data. With fewer physical prototypes and tests, engineers can improve productivity of their departments and the companies. Here we have a simplified packer design with some key components. Uh, the packing element, the upper and lower cones, upper and lower V-rings, and the inner and outer casing wall. The nonlinear FEA solution of MARC is used to simulate the packer deformation and analyze the system's stress and strain behavior. In order to keep the size smaller, an axisymmetric model of the design is used for analysis. The first step is to preload the seal as it is installed in the casing. In order to obtain the initial strain state of the seal without actually having to simulate the insertion step, the casing inner diameter is expanded to simulate the installation fit. The next step is to heat the packer to expected service temperature, enabling us to capture the thermal expansion effects which cause the seal to expand prior to setting. We now begin the setting or uh, the compression of the seal into the casing. A force is applied to the upper cone that will compress the packer element against the casing wall. As the packer element compresses, it will fill the volume between the casing walls. Mark's contact algorithms allow automatic contact detection between all of the components, including any self-contact. This is important as the packer element can fold and buckle and may contact itself during the setting. Uh, the compression stage of the simulation also results in significant deformation of the packer. And during this deformation, the finite elements can become badly distorted, which can significantly reduce accuracy and would very likely result in lack of convergence as well. Mark provides automatic remeshing capability to accommodate uh, this large deformation without loss of accuracy. Based on pre-specified criteria like uh, distortion and contact, Mark creates a new mesh with well-shaped elements over this previously distorted mesh. State of the prior mesh is also transferred to this new mesh, thereby ensuring equilibrium. This process helps solve difficult problems where extreme deformation could lead to analysis failure. And once this step is completed, 
we can now determine the maximum stress and strain in the packer and get a better understanding where the material may fail. We can also look at uh, the contact pressures between the packer and casing walls to determine if the packer provides enough uh, energy to maintain the seal under pressure. Thank you for watching and if you would like to learn more about how simulation can help improve your designs, please go to msesoftware.com.